Welcome to Bloody Reviews from the Bloody Asylum. Today I'm going to cover two short films from director Joe Meredith. Joe Meredith created two films, both a series of films, the first one called South Mill District and the second one called Terra de Morph. These films have to do with an alien virus that fuse with human beings to create a transformation and metamorphosis into alien creatures. It's kind of the best I can explain in a, in a brief synopsis. I don't want to go into too many details about the actual plot. I more or less want to get into the aesthetics and the atmosphere of these movies because I think that that's the most important part particularly since these are low-budget films and I think it's important to study these sorts of films. Right quick just to give a brief plot synopsis of the overall story arc in between both movies. These movies follow an epidemic that has caused most of the humans in the world to have died and it all roots from an alien virus that has been called Havoc. Havoc causes, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but Havoc basically fuses with human beings. It seems to start in the brain, but by the second movie, the metamorphosis takes place, uh, it looks like, throughout the entire body. This causes drastic changes in the first movie. It's like these spider-like creatures that are hiding in the brain and they seem to, to fuse with the body, causing horrific changes and metamorphosis and transformation within its human host. By the second movie, the, the Havoc virus has changed and is, it's metamorphosizing itself. And in the second movie, we get even more abominations, and it's it, it's some pretty dark stuff. I'll just say that it's 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 very dark. It's it's grim. I'm gonna say right now, this is a guy that clearly takes his craft seriously, and that's definitely respectable. Uh, the The general scope of both of these projects, particularly part two is some big stuff and what he is able to accomplish on a minuscule budget is it's incredible. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it's downright brilliant actually. The first movie gives you the general concept and idea with some mayhem and included some gory mayhem and transformation of that but it's within the second movie that he seems to have really amped things up and it's I I'm just I'm nearly flabbergasted about how good Teratomorph was. South Mill District is a good movie and it's a good introduction to this series but Teratomorph is hands down the better of the two movies and it's I, I'm just almost speechless. I, I just finished watching it not 30 minutes ago and I, coming from a person that understands film and, and visual arts, this movie is, is a near masterpiece on what can be done with, with such a low budget. And the, 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 special, uh, the special effects work in this movie are, are as stunning. The atmosphere in both of these movies is beautifully photographed. The cinematography is stunning, but it's within the special effects and the craft behind the special effects that make these movies really stick out and come together. And I, I feel that many of us that, that genuinely love the genre are going to really stand up for these movies. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a mainstream movie fan and you you like the big budget stuff, you're probably not going to like this. And it's a shame because you're really missing out on what's what I consider some genuinely fine visual arts. 
and that's what this is. This is, this is visual art. It, it's extremely gory. It's extremely bloody, but it's original. And I, I feel that a, a person like Joe Meredith should get recognition, particularly for this movie, Terra Tamorph. It's, it's, it's just stunning to look at, and I'm just, I'm blown away by what he was able to do with, with just such a minuscule budget and the imagination that, that went behind this. It's some big stuff. It, there's, the, there's some truly abominable stuff in this movie. The, the creature designs are horrific and downright terrifying at times. I could certainly go on and on with the general aesthetic and love for this sort of movie, or movies I should say, but I'm just going to tell you right now as a big fan of horror, big, uh, I'm, I just love the genre in general, and I really love seeing something that's this original, this creative. That's really the most important thing for me when watching a movie like this is just how creative it is and how imaginative it is and the general scope and knowing how to achieve those ends with with virtually nothing the, the movies are horrific and just brilliant to watch and i get a general um i get a general love when I watch these movies. I feel that Meredith loves the genre. I feel that he understands the genre. And that's something that you don't see a whole lot in the mainstream, is a real love for this sort of uh, extreme horror. And I, I'm really looking forward to seeing more of what Joe Meredith has to offer. After watching Terra to Morph, I have got to say that, that I'm sold. I'm, I'm going to be watching his movies from here on out. South Mill District was good. Terra to Morph is near brilliance. And I can only imagine that this filmmaker is going to end up becoming better and better and better with each movie that he creates. Although, I'm just going to say right now, uh, it's going to be hard to beat Teratomorph because I, I'm just, I'm, I'm still stunned by it. And uh, it's easily one of the best short films that I have seen in a really, really long time. And that says a lot. I watch a lot of this stuff. And it's hard for me to review some of these movies because I, I try to be fair. And I try to understand that most of these movies are done on a lower budget. And some of them fail. Admittedly, some of them aren't very good. But Joe Meredith's movies, particularly Terra to Morph, are, are stunning. They're made with love and respect for the genre. They're big in scope. And, well, what else can I say? Go out and buy this movie. Go out and buy South Mill District. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope that I sold you on wanting to watch these movies. I wish I could have been a bit more descriptive, but I really don't want to give too many details away. But I feel that you should watch these. I feel it's important. And especially for indie filmmakers such as this, we need more people watching these movies and giving these people the respect where respect is due. Well, thank you again, and tune in next time.